So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hello, thanks for clicking. So you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the results. This is how we make Halloween special effects face burns. There are a thousand different ways. This is how I'm gonna show you guys because it's so easy. So you will need toilet roll, the cheapest ones, don't get quilted, PVA glue, school glue. You will need your red and your black, some fake blood if you have it. Um, any kind of tools, paintbrushes, lollipop sticks or spatulas, anything you have to make the gore. So I have myself a model. I've decided it's way too hard doing it on my own face. <laughs> <laughs> I stole, I stole Michaela. <laughs> Hello Michaela. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's under no pressure at all. <laughs> <laughs> So, you will need, your first step for this video will be your PVA glue. So you want to put that in a bowl so that it's really close to hand. And then you want to get your paintbrush and you want to paint the area of the face that you want your burns to be. Following that step, you want to get your toilet tissue um, thin ply. So if it's a two ply, you want to take it apart so that you've only got one Apply going on the skin. I've already done a few pieces over here, a little bit like blue pizza. Then you want to just go ahead and put it on the skin um, however you can, as long as it's bumpy. You don't want it to be completely flat to the skin. You also want to rip the edges so you've got no real obvious sharp edges um, that makes it look like it's toilet roll on your skin. So you want to go ahead and apply that. A bit like the front of my Spellbook DIY. Apply that just in the space that you want it to be and clumpy, if that makes sense. So that's pretty much covered the glue. I'm just gonna go over the top of that with a little bit more glue. Okay, so that is um, layer number one. So. You want to help the drying process and you can use a hairdryer to dry that. So you want to just go ahead before it dries completely solid and just open up some of the gaps, rip a bit of the tissue to create these almost flaky skin sections where the deepest of the burn is going to be. And in some places, it's almost like the, your face has melted. Um, but yeah, can you see that? Lovely. So that is the first layer. You can see that we've ripped some of the skin here to make it look. It's quite dry, a little bit tacky. We're just going to go ahead in some of the places with extra um, glue, extra tissue, just to build up those layers. This is optional. You can, I think, even one layer. You know, if this is the first time you're trying it and you want something real quick, one layer is enough. But we can um, add layers to add more texture. Okay, that's the second layer of tissue paper and PVA. I'm just going to go back in with my lolly stick and open up these wounds a little bit. The more you play around, the more you'll get this multi-layered, textured feel. Okay, so that, I'm going to get a close-up for you guys. This is two layers, two PVA layers, two toilet tissue layers. So we're going to go in now. You want to try and um, cover that, if you can, with just a bit of the foundation colour that is most natural to your skin tone, um, just to take away the whiteness of the toilet tissue. We're going to go in now and start with the burns. So you want your, you want your black um, face paint, a bit like my last video, just black and red. Black face paint, just a little bit of water, sprayed onto that. You don't want too much. Then 
you want to go in with a very small brush just to get in those crevices. You can, you don't have to use face paint, you can at this point use um, eyeshadows, you can use any sort of powders that you have. Um, yeah, face paint is just, it's optional. So once you've got your um, shadows done inside all of those holes, you wanna go in with your red and just um, create that um, deep burn look, if that makes sense. You just want to blend it a tiny, tiny bit, not too much. Um, you want to add the red to all of those areas. The majority of this face is going to be red, so don't put too much pressure on yourselves at this point. sponge if you have a stipple sponge you just want to go ahead around the edges not too much you really just want a light um, a light covering on there so once you've added the red to the overall effect you want to go in with some blood I'm using the Ben Nye thick blood that I showed you in my last tutorial I'm just going to take the tiniest amount on my lollipop stick and I'm going to put it into those crevices where I put the black I'm going to put the thick blood just to add that depth again this is optional you can literally just pour liquid blood all over your face it will still look just as amazing just as dramatic <laughs> done with the Ben Nye you can if you want to add a little bit of Vaseline just to um, add like a flesh a flesh texture that texture where you've really cut yourself deep and you see the flesh so we'll have a go I'm not sure I haven't actually tried this before but hey let's try it together <laughs> So the last thing to do on this really is fresh blood, like really, really wet blood. And blood I actually have, a couple of people have asked me what blood I've bought. The range. So that's the blood I actually have. Very, very runny, very... Um, and you just want to go in and dollop it on really. Depends how much drama you're looking for in all of those gaps. I'm going to go over with a stippler a little bit more with the fake blood. It gives it that almost raw, raw to the touch look because it's so shiny and fresh. After you've done that, the last step is your black. So you wanna go in with your stipple, with your stipple sponge and just add that, that black, that, that singed, charred skin. And that is it. That really is. That's all you need to create that burnt look. So this is a close-up of the burned face. You see the, the charcoal. You see the singed skin. You see big holes. And it was so easy. And I hope that's what I'm showing you, how easy it is. Toilet roll glue happy days hope you've enjoyed watching and thanks Michaela <laughs> <laughs>